Welcome to my Golden Games and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. This episode we're gonna be taking out this Mustang. Now if you guys didn't know, uh, about two weeks ago I finally got my Mustang back up and running. Not my Cobra. My first car that I ever got. It's a 94 V6 Mustang. I know it's a V6, but it is a manual transmission. And, you know, that car actually does some pretty good drifting in real life. Anyways, let's get inside here. The reason I have this car here, the interior is basically exactly the same as my car. 94 to 2004, the interior was all the same. Now, as you guys know, this is a New Edge Mustang, where mine is an SN95. So the body style is a little different. The interior is exactly the same. But this is basically the paint job that I have on my car, the V6 version. My Cobra is all blacked out. But, uh, yeah, so I got the racing stripe going down the hood. You know, I'll, I'll do probably some videos in real life if you guys want to see that of my Mustang. But, so, yeah, it's a candy apple red paint. I tried to mimic it as best I could in the game. And if you guys have any questions about how I got this paint in-game, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make a video on that if you guys want to see that. But, like I said, let's get on the road here, see how this Mustang handles, and uh, let's uh, rev it up a little bit. Oh, listen to that. Oh, that is so good. And let's go in first person. Oh, that is beautiful. So anyways, this is the four valve, 4.6 liter V8. Uh, let's actually get inside really quick. Let's pull open the hood and show you what the engine looks like. It's the same motor that's in my Cobra, but it does have a different intake on it. It's got a completely different intake because this is the Cobra R Mustang, which they only made in 2000, I believe. Uh, anyways, let's get inside Forza Vista here. Oh man, look at that car. Let's turn the headlights on. Look at that. That is beautiful. And let's get around here. Look at the wheels though. That is, that is beautiful. And that paint job. Oh, that candy apple. I mean, like I said, it made it close as possible. Let's open the door here. And let's get inside. Because again, for some reason in Forza Vista, it's a little glitchy. You have to go inside the car first before you can actually walk around and actually look into the engine bay. But yeah, so this is the interior of the car, and it's basically the same as my Mustang. Uh, mine actually does not have two cup holders. It only has, uh, actually, no cup holders. Uh, right where the two cup holders are is just a little thing. It's like an ashtray. The armrest there, actually, you pull that open, and then you can flip out a little cup holder. I uh, kind of ripped that out and uh, kind of got a custom-made uh, cup holder that has two cup holders in it, actually. Uh, if you guys, again, want to see that in real life, I'll do a video on that. Just let me know in the comments below. But, yeah, so th this is literally the interior of my car. So let's get back out here and let's check out under the hood and see what the engine looks like. Let's get around this one. Man, look at my decals on there for Quantum Coat. It's freaking awesome looking. Uh, so yeah, like I said, that, that stripe looks so good. Uh, all right, we got a carbon fiber hood. I don't have a carbon fiber hood in real life. It's just matte black with uh, another matte black uh, racing stripe. Two different shades of black. All right, so let's get in here. So this is the V8. It's the uh, Lincoln Mark 8 motor, but it's the Cobra motor. They're the same motor. It's the 32 valve V8 that Ford made. Double overhead cam. A bitch to work on. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so it's got some kind of massive intake up there. I don't know anything about that. That is not my. That is nothing to do with my Mustang. But in my Cobra, it's got the uh, 98. It's a 98 Cobra. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So this is the motor that's in my Cobra, and it's just a little different with a massive intake on there. And I think that's it. It's not supercharged or anything. It's naturally aspirated. So let's get out here now, and let's take this thing out on the road. Whoa. All right, so we'll rev it up at about 3,000 RPMs here. Got it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hitting that red li rev limiter. Nice. Oh, yeah. Drift that. There we go. Just drifting it everywhere we go. Beautiful. And let's drift it around this corner here. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. This corner always gets me right here. Oh! That would suck in real life. Let's go in third person. Um, yeah, there's a little a little deep back here. That that would probably uh, kill your engine. 
now that we're back on the road, let's see how this thing handles. Uh, we're going to try and drift it around this corner here. Nope, nope, that's not good. And let's try and drift it around this corner. There we go. There we go. Doing a little drift in here and there. I'll slow it down a little bit. There we go. And let's uh, drift it around this corner. There we go. That was pretty decent. Oh, come on now. Okay. Anyways, let's go find a race to do. And we'll see how this car handles. Oh, I finally unlocked aviator sunglasses in the game. I had a wheel spin. Finally. I've been trying to get the aviators since the game came out, you know, like a week or two ago. Finally unlocked them. Oh, listen to that burnout. All right, let's go find a race. Oh, man, that Mustang looks beautiful. Right, let's give it some gas. Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop burning out. Let's go shift into second. That took forever. I don't know what was going on there, but let's try and catch up and get around these cars. Uh, slow down a bit. Yikes. Uh, I did disable ABS, so I'm going to have to uh, have a hard time braking here. So come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, okay. We'll, we'll ignore that. We're good. We're good. Okay. Whoa spinning out of there what is going on okay and let's get around this corner here whoa okay we're spinning the wheels out give it a little more gas yikes on the road this car handles great but you know so far i can't see oh is that a crown Vic? come on come on come on come on dang it just lost our wing there that's not good um see so yeah, i don't know why it feels like oh man I am just embarrassing myself right now. Like in the last video too with the Lamborghini, on the road it handles perfectly fine, but in the races it just slides all over the place. I don't know what's going on. And I gotta slow down, okay, that's not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Slow down, damn it. Oh no. And we just spun out there. Yep, definitely in last place now. This was definitely a misadventure episode. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the car. Maybe it's just me. My, but let me know in the comments below. You think it's the car or is it me? What I'm thinking is because the season is now spring, it kind of messes with the race mechanics and it makes it feel really glitchy because the streets are completely dry right now, but yet it feels like they are soaked. Like, look at that. We're, we are sliding all over the place when the roads are completely dry. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Give it a little more gas. I don't know. I'm just not ah, doing good. Look at this. All right, let's try and catch up with these guys. We're on the third rat. We are not going to be able to catch up with these guys. I don't know why it's so slidey. Like, on the road, it handles perfectly fine. Come on. Here, give it go. Give it go. Come on. Man. What are you doing? Like, it does not do that on the road. It just starts spinning out for no reason in a race. But on the road, it's perfectly fine. It's like the first episode of, I think it was Need for Speed 2 or something like that, where the second race or whatever, like you're about to win, or maybe it was the first race. Anyways, you're about to win, and then the engine just like blows up because the other guy uh, sabotaged your engine. It's basically what it feels like. Like, look at that, I can't even turn. I'm in 11th place right now. How? Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. I don't want to lose to that Buick. No, 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 Buick. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Wow. That is the worst race I have ran. All right, anyways, let's see what we got. 14,600 credits still? Man, okay. We, we, we did horrible that race. Oh, about to unlock that Porsche. Okay, so now that we're outside the race that I just humiliated myself, let's see how the car handles. Warm up the tires a little bit there. Perfect, there we go. Now let's get going down this way. Is this the same road we were just on? I believe it is. So let's get around these cars here. There we go. Um... Let's see. Okay, Mercedes! Trying to hit me there. You guys saw that. All right, let's get on this road here. 
Come on. There we go. Put a little gas. You know what? I don't know if I upgraded the sway bars or the anti-roll bars. That could be a problem. Nope. I spun it out there. Yeah, so it's just me talking. When I'm focusing on the actual game itself, when I'm not recording, I seem to do really good. And then as I talk, I just can't concentrate and drive at the same time. So I guess I just suck in YouTubing. You know what I mean. Alright guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I humiliated myself on that race. I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you want to see more episodes with this Mustang, I guess I'll need to drive it around some more and practice some more races. But, ah, there we go. Lost it again. Yep, I'll just slam on the brakes here. I'm done humiliating myself for now. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. Have a great day guys and see you next time. Be sure to hit that bell icon too. That way you'll be notified when the videos go up. Take it easy, guys.